while. I've um, been trying to get a bunch of stuff done. I um, had two procedures on my legs done today. Um, I we'll opened the new Sixth Sense box. I've, I've had it for about a week and a half now. I just hadn't had a chance to do anything with it yet. So let's see what's in here. I also want to show you a couple other things when we get down to it. Uh, let's get to this first. All right, so. Nice black bag. These always remind me of Crown Royal bags. <laughs> um, so we got another Divine. This is the hybrid jig. Um, half ounce. This color is um, Grass Mutant. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, I like these jigs. They're really good. Um, and you got the Divine Swim Head jig, which I like these a lot as well. And these are the Baby Shad, um, 3 8 ounce. These pair up really nicely with some of your um, bigger paddle tails. Um, not really so much this. This is way too big for these. But these, I like these a lot, these Divine Swim Baits. These make a great swim bait, swim jig trailer. These make these work really good on a, um, a flashy swimmer. Um, really good stuff. I got the new Stroker Cross. 3.3 inches green pumpkin burst. Let's take a closer look at this color. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, wow. They stink. That's a really nice color. Have a look at that. It's like... It's almost like a green pumpkin candy, uh, but the flake's really small. Uh, but it's got like a lot of blue and like cinnamon red and green flake in it. It looks really good. I really like to punch this bait. I also like to put it on the back of a jig. Uh, it's about the perfect size as far as the body goes. Um, and I like this really nice and flat. It works really good as a skipping jig trailer. Um, all right, go to the next thing here. We got some of the Divine Shaky Worm, 7 inch. This is Dark Water Bug. This is a color that I like a lot. Let me show this to you. It's kind of like, it's almost, if you look at it, it's almost like a hand pour. But it's like a, it's like solid black with the tiniest blue flakes in the top of it. And on the bottom, it's almost like a June bug. But it's a little bit lighter than June bug and has a lot of blue flake in it. I don't know if you can see that or not. But this is an awesome color. Especially in some of the, um, a lot of the, where I'm living at now, a lot of the water here is kind of like water in Florida. It's very tannic. has a lot of cypress trees, a lot of grass. Um... So that's very much how it comes off as. And the colors basically work the same. The same June bug and the dark colors there work here. Uh, but they have regular lakes and stuff here. But they have a lot of national lakes here. Natural lakes. Uh, they call them... Um, a lot of people call them ponds. But they're not really ponds. They're like flat... Uh, like bays. They're just like a big flat bay lake. Um, a lot of them are not very, not very deep. Most of them are electric only. Um... It's been kind of interesting fishing them. I need to get out there and take the camera out with me too. So we got a 50S Crush. And that's an Chartreuse Blackback. I think, I think that's what they call it as well. Yep, Chartreuse Blackback. This is a very good square bill. A 50 Crush. And we got... A Crush 25. That's an interesting color. It's called Gizzard Shad. That's what I kind of thought it was called, but I wasn't sure. Hmm. And then we have a Cloud9 C10. And these are 5 eighths of an inch. Um, this is called Gank Juice. 
J A I N T juice. Um, of course, these dive eight to twelve foot. Uh, if you put it on fourteen pound test, I like to do that and fish it almost kind of like a deep square bill along rocks and stuff like in the uh, late winter, early spring. Um, does really good. Um, I'm gonna get into some other stuff here. If you guys in early, like the early to mid spring, when you see fish blowing up, you can't catch them on your typical top water. I found these, these little river to sea. I think these are called the 70s. I think they're three eighths of an inch. I mean three eighths of an ounce. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, 75. Whopper plopper 75. Sorry, I ain't got my glasses. I don't have my shades, but I don't have my regular glasses. I'm reading glasses. When you get old, you need reading glasses. It sucks. Um, but these guys right here in the winter time, not winter time, but the late, the early spring to mid spring, because they're, they're eating a small little shad, the small spring of the year stuff. These work really good. All right. Um, I found this online. Well, actually, it, it was actually, they found me on Facebook. <laughs> and I thought I'd go ahead and give them a try to see what they're like. Actually, this is not what I thought it was. That's out in the building. Um, this is just some stuff from Discount Tackle. Um, this is a hybrid underspin. I thought that would be really good for Z-Man, the way it's got the keeper and stuff on it. And it they had these on Discount Tackle for like a dollar twenty-five a piece or something like that. And then they had Thunder Crickets. I got... Um, 10 Thunder Crickets, and they had the Thunder Crickets on sale for, um, I think I got it for $5.99 or $6.99 or something like that. It was a crazy good deal, so you, you get crazy good deals, you gotta jump on them. Um, Alright, now, that's it. the other thing to you in another video. I think this is what I had ordered from AliExpress. I actually got here a lot faster than I thought I was gonna get here. Um, Wow, okay. They did not want this to come open. That's for sure. Man. They did a really good job packing this thing. So these are like double-sided uh, Oh wow, they gave me some free stuff too. That's cool. Let me get into this here now. Um, all right. So, I was trying to find some different storage beans. I don't know if you can see this, they're not really good, but let me open it up for you. It's got a little thing here, and they're waterproof. It's got a seal inside here, and it's got like a bevel lip. But you put each bait in here, and it holds one, one or two baits in there, and you got to worry about them getting tangled up. Um, here's some of the. Oh wow, they sent me some some of their version of Whopper ploppers. I don't know how good these are. We'll find out. We'll have to look at it a second. They sent me, um, this is like a light clear color shatter pattern. This is a black. Um, this is like a chartreuse belly one, shatter pattern. Um, this is a smaller black one. This is a smaller chartreuse belly one. Okay, so it looks like they sent me no, this is different. This is um, this is like a, almost like a blue perch pattern. I don't know how that would work. Let's we'll find out. I mean, it's free stuff, free stuff, free stuff. And a smaller perch pattern. Hmm, okay. Let me see what kind of components they have with them. Oh, it's cool. They have a foam block here. And they've got the hook stuck into the foam block. 
And these use basically the same hooks Mega Bass lures come with. And they are very sharp. Ow. They're kind of like a shad, like a shad wrap style body. Look at that. Um, the components, ow, seem really good. The tail spins really good. Ow, damn. Um, let's see how much it weighs. Now I gotta show you. <laughs> I'm kind of more interested in the free stuff than having the stuff I pay for. I'll get to that in a second. Let's see how much these things weigh. Ow, these hooks are sharp. Hmm. Okay. The big one weighs 17.1 grams, which is about a little over half an ounce. So about you're looking at probably about a nine sixteenths or something like that ounce. So it weighs exactly 60, 60 grams. This is nice. I like, I want to try these out. Hooks are sharp as can be. The tail spins really good. I got to see how it's going to kill. I mean, I guess this is basically made like the Berkeley. If you think about the Berkeleys, what's it called? The chopper or Chapo? I've got some of them. I've caught fish on them, but these have better hooks than those Berkeley ones do. Well, I say they have better hooks up. I guess time will tell. They, they look just like the Mega Bass uses. And this little foam block thing in here. That's cool. I mean, look at that. You can take this off if you want to and put it on your boat. But, I mean, or you can buy the big one. It's just, just a little piece of foam. I shouldn't. Most time when you get stuff like this, I guess I get excited about little things. They usually don't ship it with this kind of stuff. Especially not a free item. <laughs> Okay, let me get back to what I was showing you. Um, this is from Kingdom. All these are from Kingdom, but... I guess I put this back on the wrong side. It's alright. I'll work about it later. Uh, the small one. Let's see how much the small one weighs. Does it say it on the box? Um... I'm guessing it weighs about three eighths of an ounce. The smaller one here. This looks like a 75 millimeter as well, or a 95 millimeter. Yep, I think that's what it is. Hmm. Got the same hooks. Ow! Ow! Dang! Yeah, I like that. Look at that. See if I can hold it by the nose. It's got I mean the split ring's like hooks on the split ring there. I gotta fix it, but it's alright. Um let's see how much it weighs. Ounces, it weighs point point four oh. So that's basically like I said, three eighths of an ounce. Let me go over to grams, make sure. Yep, 11.2. So, I was right, about three eighths of an ounce. Um, that's pretty neat. Um, but I've ordered a lot of stuff from Kingdom. You've seen several of the rods I've ordered from them. I uh, like the uh, silver needle I like to use. Um, I've got that in light, all the way up to medium heavy. Um, I have those in my truck. That I carry around with me. I guess I need to show you my truck arsenal. Um, but I carry those around with me almost everywhere I go. I uh, decide so I'm going to stop somewhere and fish. So I just get them out and take fishing. Um, and I carry everything from BFS stuff to bass fishing stuff. Let me put this back in here right now. Alright, let me show you what I wanted to show you to begin with. Okay. So, as you see, they have a side here and another side here is basically just on both sides. And I thought this would make it awesome. You got this one, I got, uh, let me show you what I got here. These the orange ones are basically the exact same size as these. 
but I wanted to have it color coded so I can quickly find what I'm looking for. Um, here's some more of them. And then here comes the small ones. So I got three of each of the bigger ones. They only had the orange ones and the small ones. But the small one here is basically the exact same thing, just smaller. You pop it open. You can put, like, if you have like a, if you're carrying a backpack with you, you can put little jerk baits in here, or on the boat, you can put little little crank baits, little jerk baits. Same on the other side. Just keeps everything from not getting tangled up. You can get to a lot faster, pull it out a lot easier. Um, I thought it was really nice. I think these are here were. Um, the small ones were three dollars, and the big ones were, um, I think, four fifty. So I mean, the price versus the quality of something like you go to Walmart to buy the plano ones like this, you're looking at like these small ones here are like eight bucks or something like that, nine bucks, and the bigger ones like this, but they're not made like this. They're not made like this. They have like a little square compartment. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I had to talk to some interrupting kids. <laughs> but I was just telling you, these right here on AliExpress, they're like, I think $4.50, $4.99, something like that, $5. And these are like $3.50. But like I was saying, when you go to like the Walmart or something to buy these, they're not made like this. These are made to hold crankbaits. Like I'll show you real fast, or topwater baits, or whatever you want to put in here. Um, I don't know if this one fits in here or not. We'll find out real fast. This is more, I got this for more of my BFS kind of bait. So, but it'll fit perfectly in this one. So you take your hooks like this. You drop them straight in like that so they don't get tangled or nothing. They hang, they sit down. It sits in, there, sits in there just like that. This one has kind of a fat back, so I got to fix it real fast. It kind of sits up in the air. So this is probably not a good example for using this box. <laughs> um, let's try something different. These are very tall. You see the side, the side profile of them? They're very tall. Okay, so like your smaller little baits, you put your hooks in. Okay, so I guess these are going to be really good for jerk baits. Oh, well, I thought it was going to be a really cool thing. Oh, well, guys. It doesn't work good for fat baits, that's for sure. Um, let's see if the bigger box does work good for this. Yep, the bigger box does. Well, hell. It doesn't like it either. So I guess this is going to be like jerk bait box. That's the only thing you really put in here is jerk bait. It has to be long and skinny. Um, so I guess it'll organize your jerk baits. <laughs> oh well. I tried. But like I was saying, the other boxes you get there from Walmart, the smaller boxes, especially if you're doing like a lot of stuff like in your backpack and you're trying to walk around ponds and stuff with it. Um, just try to make things easier for you to get to. But I guarantee you, like all the BFS stuff will fit in here really good. Um, I don't have anything sitting here in front of me right now for my BFS. But that stuff would fit in these little boxes great. And that's the main reason why I got these little boxes. When I'm trying to fish some like smaller BFS, like uh, believe it or not, I'll fish some BFS stuff in tournaments. Um, you have a really tough bite. You get out one of those um, poppers I showed you in the other video when we'll talk little pencil baits um, those work really good I mean I'm not saying you're gonna catch monsters I have caught up to five pounders on them so you're I'm not saying you won't catch monsters but they will quickly get you a limit especially if you're fishing uh, if your limits 12 inch and you're trying to make points so you you're still in the points running you pull out those little baits you start fishing them around 
catch you a quick limit, and then you try to upgrade. Uh, but sometimes you got to catch that quick limit because it's almost run out of time. Um, that's all about tournament fishing, especially if you're on a trail. If you're on a trail, if you don't come back with five, you just went back down points. Unless you got some big ones. But if you don't come back with five in the trail, like I fished ABA, open circuits. Um, so if I don't have five, then I'm not really getting, I'm getting a short amount of points. I mean, even if I have like three good ones and a small one, I need that fifth one. That's why it's called five by three. You need five. You need five. I know there's a lot of like little small tournaments of fish in the days and things of that nature is what they have like a three bass limit. Even then you need that three bass limit, especially if they're doing like a trail where there's going to be an angler of the year at the end of the year. I like to be in the contention for it. I can't, I mean, I don't see how I am. It's how I'm built. I'm not built to not try to win. Um, I'm super, I'm uber competitive according to my wife, but that's just what makes me tick. Well, guys, I'm going to go and sign off. If you have any questions, please leave it down below. Um, if you like the content I bring you, I know I haven't done a video in about a week or two. Uh, I've been trying to get stuff done around the house, um, stuff done for me. Um, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I know I'm getting more and more subscribers every week. I'm trying to put out real content. I'm not trying to put out childish mess. I'm trying to give you stuff that actually works, show you stuff that I like. Uh, like I know for a fact, these crush, any of these crush crankbaits, they're awesome. These are awesome. These whopper ploppers, these are awesome. Um, and these cut, these right here, I like the. This is the uh, baby powder, or I think they call it um, powder. Yeah, they call it powder. Um, this one here is just basically a shad pattern. I like the black one. I like the bone one. Those are the four main you need. As far as like whopper ploppers, this goes for the small one all the way up to the big one. Uh, as far as whopper plopper goes. I know they have lots of different colors. Don't get them. You don't need them. You need the powder. You need the bone. You need the black. And you need a shad pattern. That's all you need. Um, there's lots of other stuff. Like it's just things like here to try to find. I got to do some update videos on some of this stuff that I find. Just so you can see it. And I need to bring that Panther Martin stuff in so I can show it to you. Uh, no, I have it out in the building. Um, and I've been I've been promising you some of you guys I'm like some of my like my tackle breakdown, like my actual rods and reels that I use on a daily basis. Uh, I just keep forgetting to do it. That's my fault. That's on me. Um, but I'll get it done for you. I get my arsenal done for you. Uh, so I have like two different arsenals that I do. One for being on the boat and one for bank fishing or fishing from electric boat all right guys so i guess i already said i already said i'm gonna end it right now but i'm going to end it now um if you have any questions like i said leave them down below hit that thumbs up button for me subscribe to the channel i'm gonna start getting more stuff together for you uh i guarantee there'll be some more stuff on the water that's what i need to do i need to get back out there i need to stop doing so much stuff around here i need to start making myself happy again all right guys you have a great day